don't post in Facebook groups. I've talked about this so many other times, but I can't tell you how many people I've sniped just in Facebook groups alone, even if, so like this is another little, little caveat, this is another little bonus for you. I, I found that it's a lot easier to snipe shops, at least recently. Um, it's You can definitely uh, snipe personal profiles as well, don't get me wrong, but it's a lot easier to snipe shops because they give you like all the data, all the different you know nuances, and you can scroll through their products super easily. Whereas on a personal profile, it's a little bit kind of like wonky in the way that you're able to sort, sort through their products and see. So it's a lot easier that way. But so if you're you're if somebody's posting in a Facebook group about you know their sales, or even if they're just in a Facebook group and they're constantly engaging and commenting, like there's nothing wrong with that necessarily, right? But it just it just makes you a potential target. It lets other people know that you are a drop shipper. And then what I could do if I was trying to reverse engineer it is I could go find your profile, which is not very, very hard, or go find you on Marketplace, which is not very, very hard. Or what I've been doing lately is like a lot of people will, will talk a big game about how they're crushing it in shops, right? And so what I've been doing lately that's been really easy is I'll go find that person's actual profile and I'll look at their likes because Generally speaking, most people like their actual brand that they've created to shop around, right? So, for example, like let's say they named uh, this is a random example, but let's say they named like um, their their shop like Zero Products, right? Well, their personal pro profile not always, but a lot of times happens to like when I go look at it, happens to like a, a product page that's called Zero Products that uh, has like ten likes and a few reviews and like hundreds of products. And it's super obvious that that's their their shop that where they're drop shipping from. And you can look at the products and you can find it and reverse engineer. So the whole reason I'm saying that is it's not it's not a bad thing to post in Facebook groups. Obviously, like Facebook groups are a great place to go, kind of find other like minded people and stuff like that. But if you're doing that, first and foremost, don't like your Facebook shop because that's obvious, okay? And then it's easy for someone else to find that. And number two, um, you know, you don't necessarily wanna be posting and bragging about how you're doing a lot of sales unless you're 100% sure that there's no like paper trail back to your shop or to your best selling products, all right? So, you know, it's just a little tip. Hopefully you keep that in mind.